everybody, Rex Osmond, MoreThanTalk.com, and I'm here to talk to you today about listening. You know, in order for you to be an effective leader or a manager or a supervisor, you have to have one key, key thing, and that is to be able to listen to people. You know, John Maxwell, Ken Blanchard, and Stephen Covey are three people that I follow a great deal. John Maxwell would say that in order for you to understand others, you better understand yourself before you even get into the room to be a supervisor. Stephen Covey, through his Seven Effective Habits class, would teach about you have to first listen to, so you can understand before you talk to be understood. He actually has a talking stick in. And I'm a facilitator for Stephen Covey and on the Seven Effective Habits for Law Enforcement. And, and we talk about this. This is a leadership stick. When someone's holding it, like for instance the Indian tradition where it came from, if they're holding this stick, everybody else in the council is quiet. When they pass it off, it's that person's opportunity to talk and everybody else listen and they do that until everybody has had their voice heard. Ken Blanchard basically says you have to understand people's leadership point of view. And part of that point of view is how do you listen? You know, I, I tell people all the time, if you're going to be a good listener, uh, you'll do well. As a hostage negotiator for 28 years, I can tell you I listen to many, many people talk about what was going on in their lives. And if I wasn't a good listener, I wouldn't be able to respond to them effectively. So we have an analogy called ear. Ear is basically explore. When people are talking, listen to them very carefully, but if you don't understand, explore what the conversation is. Maybe they're not real articulate. You need to help them a little bit. And explore. Ask questions that are open-ended, not closed-end, not yes or no. Make them explain it a little bit. When you get done with that, then of course you then move on to the acknowledge part. I, you acknowledge, I heard you, I hear you, I understand what you're saying, or I think I understand what you're saying, because you tell them again, this is what I think you said. And finally, respond. Respond to the questions or whatever it is that is coming from them. Respond accurately and honestly. Once you do those things, you're going to do great as a leader. doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It just means that you've listened to them. Now, it all has to do with the attitude. And the attitude I like to think of is when you sit down and listen to somebody, think of weight. Take that piece of stick of note and write W-A-I-T on it. When you write weight on there, stick it on your notebook, stick it on your desk, stick it, I don't care where you put it, to remind yourself to wait. Listen to people. Now, what does wait stand for? It stands for, why am I talking? People want, to, want you to listen. People want to know that you heard them. You know, you can be a great leader just by doing those things. Well, I'm Rex Osmond with MoreThanTalk.com, and if you want to know more about listening skills and other leadership traits, get a hold of me. And I'd be glad to sit down with you and we can help develop a program for you or use an existing program that we already have in our basket of tools. So with that, have a great day, and I'll tell next time.